Hi guys, welcome to a Minecraft video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to um, how to build a fusion reactor in HBM's nuclear tech mod. So yeah, let's get started. The list of things you'll need is is on the screen now, but you're going to need all of these things in the chest. And so the first thing you're going to want to do if you're in survival mode is place down your reactor core component and you will get basically a hologram of where you need to place all of these blocks here. If you're in creative mode if you're in creative mode you can get the fusion reactor already built and place it down like so if you do that but if you're in survival you're going to need the core component block and you're going to need to place all those blocks and then it will turn into a fusion reactor. Then you're going to also need your plasma heater core component. It's a similar story. You're going to place it uh, facing the direction of the reactor and it's going to create a hologram of where you need to place all those blocks. Also the floor plan that I've got down, I'll explain it in a bit, um, that that's I'm going to leave a link in the description for a schematic world edit schematic file for it but if you're in creative mode you can also just place down a plasma heater here and so the end of the plasma heater has to be going into the fusion reactor for it to inject the plasma now we're going to need three of our tanks and then we're also going to need a deuterium and tritium fluid identifiers and universal fluid ducts. So the first, and if you're in creative mode, you're also going to want an infinite fluid barrel. So we're going to place them here and here. So that's so that's from the very back block of the plasma heater is one, two, three, four blocks forward and three to each side and then one forward. So, we're then going to place our universal fluid ducts down to connect to each tank, like that. And then I'm going to put, and then you can use your fluid identifiers on them. And then once you've done that, you're going to obviously put your fluid identifiers into these tanks and set them to output mode. Now if you're in creative you can use infinite fluid barrels to fill these up. But if you're in survival you'll have to top these up and you'll see now our plasma heater is filled with tritium and deuterium. The next thing we're going to do is set up our water supply. So we're going to place our tank here and then we're going to put our universal ducts along here and join them up then you're also going to need a fluid identifier for them I'm just going to grab all of these fluid identifiers and you're also going to need an infinite heavy water tank to fuel this reactor so we're going to set it to input output mode and we're going to set it to water. Now if you're in, now I'm just going to use an infinite fluid barrel because it's easier. But if you're in survival you'll have to use an infinite heavy water tank. And then we can just change this pipe to water and then we will also see that this is going to fill up. Then we are going to, um, so let's set up our turbines, I think. So you're going to need eight Leviathan steam turbines. You're going to need, and some cables. So you're going to place them on these blocks here. Is that in the right place? Yeah, it's in the right place. And then on the opposite side, you're also going to place them down. 
if you're really low on resources you can just do run row but it will lead to decreased power production because less steam can be processed at once so we're then going to join these up along the back with our cable we're then also going to do the same on the other side then let's so what I'm going to do now is set up the connection between all the turbines and also I don't have it I'll get it in a second but also going to set up the cooling tower so this one's going to be processing normal steam so you can leave this one as it is this one's going to be processing dense steam. Um, I'm just going to get these out. That's going to be processing dense steam and it's going to be just putting out uh, steam. Oh. It's just going to be putting out steam. Then this one is going to be processing super dense steam and it's going to put out uh, dense steam. This one's going to be processing super dense steam and it's going to put out uh, dense steam super dense steam story and then we're just going to repeat the process on the other side so I'm just going to cut the video until we have them all set up okay so I set up the other side of the turbines the other turbines now also these are going to be outputting low pressure steam now let's get a cooling tower and we'll place that down So now you'll see these will connect to the cooling tower and so then you can run your water output back to your universal back to your tank Now that we're here we can just place that down and change it to water. So now so now our cooling tower and steam setups are almost done. I'm just going to run this wire through the middle here over here. now both of your turbines are connected to each other and I'm just going to grab everything out of here um, I think I've already got everything out there except these don't need those um, so now you're going to place down a spark energy storage block in the center this is going to store all your power and yeah input mode so now let's just set up the steam output from our thing. So just so that you know, um, things can only connect to the fusion reactor on these things, these ridges, and they can only and they can't connect on these blocks. They can only connect on these blocks. Just so that you're aware. There you go. And now uh, those need to be ultra dense steam. So we're looking pretty close to finished. I'm just checking that I have done everything. So uh, so what we have to do now is you can connect a power 
cord to this here to power the fusion reactor. So what I would do is you'll need a battery to just get it started, but set this to input output mode and then run it back to the reactor and the reactor will, is self, will then be self-sustaining. Or if you're in creative mode, you can just put an infinite battery in. Also, you're going to have to put a... Um, we're going to have to put what they called a fusion reactor blanket. So, base. So this is the least durable, the tungsten one, and then this is the most durable. So you'll have to put one of those in here, which because if you don't, your reactor won't blow up, but it will destroy itself. Then you're also going to have to power the plasma heater in a similar way. You can connect a power cord just, I think, to the back. So that's going to start making plasma. Now just check that everything's on input output that should be on and so now uh put that in and that's filling up so there's something wrong there. Um maybe oh I think can you only connect the ultra dense steam to the center. I think you can only connect it to the center. Okay, so now we've finished building the reactor and we've got all our batteries in, it's all powered. We should just be able to click start on the reactor here. And you'll see this will go up and that should go up. Always keep in the reactor on the first time you start it. If this goes too high, then the reactor will melt down in air quotes I'll show you what that looks like at the end of the video but yeah that should be the end of this video um so I'll I'm going to leave a schematic for this for the plat for the floor plan and just for the entire setup in the description so let's just I'm just going to show you really quickly what it looks like when one of these melts down in air quotes take that out and yeah it's not that bad it, it just disintegrates into what it's made out of so you can see it's missing a couple blocks on the inside but there's not many blocks missing I don't think actually yeah it was only missing one block so it's not that bad if see I'll show you again it's not that bad some well actually this one was quite bad but but it's an ease but these reactors don't these reactors are much safer because they don't just explode unlike a regular nuclear reactor might so, so and all we've got to do to repair it is just place these blocks down and get rid of any fire that started so if you place all these blocks down in the correct places again place them all down in the correct place then the reactor will just magically reappear but I think but that'll be it for this video link but um but um a schematic for both the floor plan and the actual reactor itself is in the description that'll be it for this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one bye